So UNA Cross will start from deep inside their own zone. Caps set on the charge. Up by speed, left side, Van Reemsdyke. He'll send it in around the wall. Gets all the way in towards the right corner where Finley gets tied up with Paul Estroni. Just so he's only able to get a stick on it and drop it down into the left wing corner. Getting away on it now. Clearing it up the board. Got deflected by Van Reemsdyke. This will find the loose puck. Gets it back up to the left point for Capset. Shot from the point there. Got knocked down. Centering pass here for Sisto and he scores! Van Reemsdyke found the puck along the goal line right. Hooked it to the front of the cage. Sisto buried it. Power play goal. one nothing Wildcats. Dick Hanlon, defenseman here, Jake Genaway working his way in, getting a shot away, but it's blocked by Tapsett, and then cleared up right, and a breakaway here for Paul Estroni. Gary Paul Estroni walking in, backhand shot, he scores! Gary Paul Estroni, walking in all alone, makes it a 2-2 game! He's able to knock the puck free, Malone trying to tie him up, Kessel carries it behind his net, and angles it up off the wall to center ice for Butler. Further ahead for LeBlanc, into the zone, drop pass back for Collins, it's back for LeBlanc, and he scores! A little bit of a give and go, and the Wildcats regain the lead, it's 3-2. To the zone, drop pass back to LeBlanc, shot, save Eisen. A tester though, he made the stop. Off the right pad, back at the point, Kip, sending it to the front for a score, redirected in by Colin. And it's a one goal game once again, 5-4. Face off is in the right circle. Courtney will take the face off now for the Wildcats. Capstead and Cicero are back on the point. Courtney wins it. Capstead over for Cicero. One time to push and wide. Centering pass. Score! Score! The Wildcats tie it with point .1 seconds left on the clock. A miracle has happened in the Verizon Wireless Arena. One tenth of a second left on the clock. Courtney wins the face-off. That is the key to the play. He loses the face-off. The game is over. He wins it. The Wildcats working hard. I think Paul Paul's going to get an assist as it came off the back wall. Dished it back out in front. Somebody jammed it home. I don't know who. They were right now, I don't care. The Wildcats have tied it up. They were well, this game has certainly had ebbs and flows when it comes to the scoring category as this puck has jumped in as we're underway in the overtime into the Wildcats zone. Caps it back behind his net. Carries it to his blue line. Flips it up the wall for Cisco. Trying to dump it across the offensive line. He's broken up. Duncan goes back the other way, but he gets wedged off by Kessel. Duncan is able to dump it into the zone. It's loose back around behind the net. Duncan chasing it down there himself. Leaves it in the right corner. Gregoire centering it out in front. Duncan, oh, a nice move to the front there, but... Couldn't quite handle the pass. Gregoire feeding it down the board. Capset got it, and now he has plenty of time for the Wildcats. Ahead for Cisco. Cisco's long pass. Up by right, into the zone. Paul Estroni. Off for LeBlanc. He scores! He scores! Peter LeBlanc scores! 45 seconds into overtime. The Wildcats win it. 6 5. Why not us? Why not the Wildcats? It has happened. Verizon Wireless Arena is standing, including BU and Ohio State fans. They just saw an exciting ending. North Dakota in shock. They're going home, and the Cats will play tomorrow night at 5.30.